The GPS data, which is uh, around and on the Schwarzenegger volcanic system, is showing us that the magma accumulation is now started and it is more than the uh, exit of the uh, magma. Uh, we can see it on the data. You can see that the in the uh, chart which shows the GPS data over the past, since the past eruption, uh, 22nd of the June up to now, 6th of the September, you can see that. This is the situation. We have a lot of uh, uh, gas emissions, although there is no visible lava in the crater or uh, around it in the form of the lava tubes. Uh, thermal images also that we have shows. The system of the sourcing volcanic system, the, the, the mid-level reservoir is now closed practically. It's just adding without exiting anything from it. That's the reason we have gas pollution in the central area. The risk is lowered, is up, updated. For the central part, in the pink color, you can see that we have a risk of the gas pollution. And this is where the location of the uh, current winds, we, uh, I've called them Storoskogfell volcano. And this is the update that the Icelandic Meteorological Office has released. And we can see it here. And I have uh, shown it in the visual form, and you can see it in the verbal form here, written the summary of this current eruption. This eruption, in my estimate, it seems that 16 days, uh, although Icelandic Meteorological Office says it's 14 days, about 14 days. So, uh, so the system of the magma reservoir is closed, and the next eruption, I predict, probably will be starting by the late November 2024.